Hello friends, it's Heather and I have another project that I'd like to share with you today. Um, today is my catch-up video day. I actually made this back in March and I'm just now getting around to um, doing a bunch of videos because my old computer crashed and I had to get a new computer and you know a whole lot of other little things. So here is my card. I use some digital stamps from Gecko Gals. That would be the bunny rabbits here. And actually it was just one image and I used GIMP in order to flip the image and have it printed onto two pieces of paper. Um, all the papers here are ones I just printed and um, kind of created myself. They're very plain, just polka dot um, and little tiny print. Um, and I made those in GIMP. Also, the little stamp in the center is a Gecko Gals digital stamp, and I colored it in using the program YIMP as well. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this up and see if I can get my camera to focus so you can see how I painted it in GIMP. She's got some cute little rosy cheeks, and I added some pattern to her dress. And I print all my um, pieces out on American Crafts cardstock, and it's textured, so it gives it a nice look. Okay, the Some Bunny Loves You text that is behind the little girl holding the bunny image is also um, done in GIMP. And then I use Inkscape to create my cut lines so all these pieces can be printed and then cut out with my Black Cat Cougar. Alright, you'll see I have some dusty attic leaves here, which I'm going to see if I can get a nice up close. There you go. And I painted that um, with Delta Ceramic Coat paints, and I then covered it with UT to give it a nice glossy look. So um, I have one on the other side as well. There it is. And I painted them pretty much the same way, so they would kind of look like the leaf is flipped. Um, I like to uh, paint. Actually, that's my first passion. I just haven't done any painting in a while. Okay. You'll notice a lot of beautiful embellishments on my card, and you'll see that I've had my favorite champagne flatback pearls from Pro 31 Designs, as well as the um, beaded sprays and this pink flower. So let me bring it up again here so you can see that. Isn't that adorable? I love those roses. You can see I use some stickles in a lavender color from Ranger. And I just kind of put little dots here and there. And I also used a um, embossing folder and then used um, vintage photo over the top to give it a little color. Okay, this is an easel card. And I'll go ahead and show you the bottom here. This was just a leftover piece of paper I had that was um, punched. And I just stuck it there to add a little something something to it. Okay, now a lot of my cards... Um, people that know me anyway, I usually like to include a hidden tag and so you'll see that this is a tag here and it slides right out and I'll just bring that up and you'll see some stamping on there which I did with um, peeled paint, Ranger Distress Ink and the stamps are all ones that I uh, drew and carved myself. So there's that and then there's also this adorable little paper clip which I altered and I just added a button to it, a pink button. I put on some hot glue and stuck it on there, a little ribbon bow. And then I used one of my champagne pearl flatbacks to uh, give it a little center. And it can just kind of stick on wherever you'd like it to go. And I just kind of was putting it right in here. There we go. Okay, the card opens. And the inside is... Um, kind of plain looking at the moment because I didn't actually write anything in it. I just had it setting out for decoration. And it says Easter Blessings. So let's see if I can get that up there. And I just used um, pretty much the same piece that I used for the front, but I cropped it. Um, and I also did that in GIMP. So, and then made the cut lines. I created a cute little flower on the other side here with a button and some beaded, um, not beaded trim, but the uh, May Arts leaves. Those are like my favorites. I got another gorgeous flower here too. Okay, so when you open this card, it sets up like this on the table. So you can see it looks, um, let's see if I can get a good picture. 
so it would set like that. So it's kind of hard to s take a picture of it from this angle, but this is kind of how it would look setting up on my table. And then I've just put this little tag back here. That really adds to it. So again, I used a lot of Pro 31 designs embellishments. You can stop by the new store that Esmeralda has opened at www.pro31designs.com. And you can also check out the Gecko Gals website to see the um, digital stamp collection, which these were um, all from the March collection. Or maybe it was even February, because uh, we usually get them in advance to make things with. So that was just another card I'd like to share with you, and I hope you enjoyed my card and all these beautiful embellishments. Have a great day. Bye.